do looks matter to women? Of course they do. Anyone who tells you they don't, this is another thing. I, I had Kezia Noble on. She was saying something like, yes, you don't need to work on yourself. You just need to have game. And I'm like, I, I think that there might be a small subset of women that works on, but I just know so many women that literally will reject you if you have something out of place physically. And by the way, we're not just talking about looks. You just dress wrong. Your breath smells bad. It's very clear you don't know how to groom yourself. Those kind of things, I think uh, that's also a big issue. The limiting beliefs, do you guys have so you guys have to deal with them every day? What is the one that just kicks you in the fucking stomach? The one where the guy says the shit. I'll tell you what mine is. Hold on, let me tell you what mine is, the quickest one. Bro, I think I'm too old. I'm 46, right? And a lot of people don't realize I am. And they're 32 years old thinking they're too old to date a girl who's 25, bro. That is the one that kicks me in the gut. I'm like, they think, bro, I have it because they'll see streamers and Bitcoin guys who've made millions of dollars at 22 years old and they're 35 and they think it's over for them. That one kicks me in the fucking stomach. Yeah, especially <laughs> for me because I'm the youngest person on the team. Yeah. I'm getting most of the guys I talk to when we're doing like these coaching calls are older than me. Yeah. And they see that I'm younger and they think like, no, like, Damn, it's awesome you're getting started. I'm like, no, no, no. I wish I was like 35. Yeah. Like that is the peak SMV for any male, especially if you're doing everything right. Yeah. So no, I totally understand that. Oh, by the way, uh, that's another thing they contended. Uh, Mac and Murphy was contending that women don't think that uh, peak SMV for males is 35. And the reality of the situation is <laughs> if you get, if you're a dude, the reason, the reason why he's sort of right is because of obesity. Obesity tends to onset later on in life, or yeah. rather, it's easier to become obese the older you get. So when they talk about like there's a, a bigger uh, separation, like a higher divorce rate when there's a, a great gap in between the man and the woman as far as age is concerned, right. it tends to also have, have, have it tends to have to do with the man losing his sexual market value partially because of obesity and partially because of just you know getting old. So if you if you stay in really great st shape and you're 35, you <clears throat> correct, you are at your peak. You are, but you have. It's your responsibility to stay in good shape, uh, to stay limber, to you know keep you know, take care of your fucking skin, get the hair transplants if you need, whatever the fuck you got to do. Yeah. Uh, those things are those are things are your responsibility. Yeah, yeah. So big. Uh, I mean, so I'll go with the biggest limiting beliefs. I had this personally. I hear it a lot. Is especially with things we talk about in MOA is definitely um, the looks. Okay. Good looking. So I'm not six foot three. I'm not like white. I'm not like I don't have blue eyes. I'm not like I don't look like a male stripper or whatever. Whatever. You know, things we want to substitute. That's the biggest one I, I see, like, every That's day. the biggest one they, they hit you up with. Not even, like, on the initial call with somebody, but yeah. just in the program, in the group coaching calls, yeah. in the text messages. I hear it all the time. Yeah. And so what? one of the things uh, we try to do to address that, anybody want to go, wants to go back and check this out, go look up at uh, Adolfo Tex. Go look at um, Alex Costa, and then go look at it, Fit X Fearless. In the last month, I've had three guys on that <clears throat> specialize in looks maxing. Yeah, Adolfo, more like physique, like getting the the proper physique you want through training. Uh, and then uh, with um, Alex, it's a lot to do with dress and like hair care. And then if you look at uh, Fit X Fearless, it's also like fitness training, clothes that fit you properly, and how facial hair can accentuate your face. And he just shows like the transformation of how he used to look to look how he looks it's now. It's insane. It's in incredible how how much better men can look without going to get a nose job or, or Botox. But there's just things that you can do that uh, not only make you look better, but actually show that you care. So like, is looks. Here's the other thing we have to we have to point out. Do looks matter to women? Of course they do. Anyone who tells you they don't, this is another thing. I, I had Kezia Noble on. She was saying something like, yes, you don't need to work on yourself. You just need to have game. And I'm like, I, I think that there might be a small subset of women that works on, but I just know so many women that literally will reject you if you have something out of place physically. And by the way, we're not just talking about looks. You just dress wrong. Your breath smells bad. It's very clear you don't know how to groom yourself. Those kind of things, I think uh, that's also a big issue. Right. right. I would say the biggest limiting belief that I hear is that I'm going to wait until I'm successful financially mm. before mm. I do anything about my social life. It's great. One. Um, that's something that's that, that the majority of guys that we talk to. Yeah. Is yeah. That. That's 100% it. And the thing is, is like, I used to have the same exact thing. Yeah. Like I, I struggled to give myself permission to talk to women, to make new friends. Cause I was so afraid to tell them that I was struggling financially. I mean, at the time I was, you know, in a job that was like Amazon e-commerce stores. And I was a group fitness instructor. I was probably making like pff, maybe $1,800 a month. My mm. rent was like 1300. Mm. It was tough. It was fucking tough. Like I was barely getting by. I was doing DoorDash on the side. Uh, I was doing all the stuff. But the thing is, is like, when when you meet 
if you go out at all, you're going to meet people that are struggling financially that just do not let it affect them at all. Mm. And that really shook up my reality. Like I would meet right. guys who were broke. They were like basically sugar babies to their girlfriend. Like their girlfriend was taking care of them yeah. financially and, and they were getting it done. And here I was just complaining, thinking I needed to make 10 K a month plus before I could have yeah. a girlfriend. Yeah. And the, it's it's amazing to me like all it yeah, takes is just, you just stepping listen, out of your if own you're, way. What, what you're saying is if you're broke you need to fuck a rich uh, instagram model just lay it down <laughs> yeah, good exactly on her right. and then you can like live off of her that's what you're yeah saying. there's exactly there's right. there's some chads out there who are broke that are fucking some billionaire's daughter and she does not care bro it's this city is rate, so man. full this city is so full of those dudes uh -huh. who are just like they are it's really funny because this is one of the cities where like the average especially near the strip the average woman is making two to three times as much as the average man mm -hmm. because of the entertainment industry uh, and so the VIP host and the male stripper and the male bartender are making less than half of what the female cocktail server, the stripper, and the fucking female bartender are making. Right. Uh, or the female pit boss, the female blackjack dealer, whatever. There's a there's a company right now that does topless blackjack dealing, and these girls are leaving a grip, bro. Two fucking bands a night. Uh, two st like it's crazy. I'm living with two k a night uh, just for doing topless. The women here make so much money, and the men here are so good looking. And so you see this off, often where it's the cocktail server who makes two forty, who's dating the male stripper who makes sixty, and she's and he, you know he's sleeping, he, she's paying for everything. And you know what's crazy is that like this same excuse gets brought up by guys who are actually doing well financially. Yeah. they just think yeah. they need to do even better financially yeah. to finally be well, qualified. It, it to actually even gets. Worse, not to say on this podcast like don't make money. Obviously, make more money, improve yourself, make as like much that. money as you can. Yeah, of course. But something you know we talk about is like crutches, right? When you believe like, hey, it's like the success or the looks or everything, whatever the thing is. But we'll go with money for this example. When that when they do get the money, now the money is a crutch. Yeah, that makes it worse. Success. Such a they great need point. to yeah. buy the hundred thousand dollar table. They need to spend twenty k at the strip club. They need to go on seeking arrangements. Yeah, whatever thing is going to be. And now they're valued for that thing, which is what they never wanted in the first it, place. It's the guy in the first six months of like working out is asking about taking Tremblone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's all, like, <laughs> yeah, bro, exactly. Trent, <laughs> learn how to fucking diet and work out before you start taking Trend. 